The keys of the game are brought to you by AutoNation. No matter how long you've had your car or why you're letting it go, AutoNation will buy it. And you don't have to buy one from us. We'll give you a top dollar offer and check on the spot. You can deposit right away. Appraise your car today at AutoNation.com. All right, welcome back to the show. Miami and Georgia Tech on Saturday. Joe Zagacki, Don Bailey Jr., Josh Darrow, 1230 kickoff. All right, let's take a look at the keys to the game for the University of Miami. You got to establish the run. Kings have run the ball pretty well against Georgia Tech. Convert on third downs, and we've seen great effort here the last couple of weeks. Miami has to continue with that relentless effort for 60 minutes. Let's go with establish the run. Georgia Tech's giving up 176 yards a game on the ground. It helps Tyler Van Dyke so much when Miami can run the football. And almost 300 yards last week against Pitt and called runs. Now, that means that doesn't mean every that the running game got 300 yards, but it was called runs. So your RPOs and your bubbles and all those things figure into the equation. I think you saw a great game plan last week. I think you'll see a lot of things that are similar this week. But I'm also, when you talk about the run, it also helps Miami in time of possession. Two weeks in a row, Miami has won that offensively, and it's also led to wins in, in, as far as the games go. Well, here's why I like establishing the run. Puts the ball in the rooster's hands more, yeah. right? Give him, give him the ball as many times as you can because you know something, something's going to come. There's going to be a big play. But to Don's point, it helps Tyler Van Dyke. The RPO bubble game was huge against Pitt. Uh, and of course, that's Pitt kind of bites on all that stuff. But, but you know, putting the ball in the rooster's hands and taking some pressure off of Tyler Van Dyke, it opens up the field for the passing game. Canes have made some huge plays on third down the last couple of games. Big third down plays for touchdowns, third down plays uh, at the end of games uh, to seal the win. Georgia Tech has struggled getting off the field. Teams are converting 45% of the time. Miami has to take advantage of that. You know, to me, how I was raised in the game, third down is a mindset. That's the, that's the challenge down. Whether it's third and one or third and seven plus, it doesn't matter. You've got to be determined that you're, if you start at the offensive line, most of the time you're going to see a blitz, you're going to see stunts, you're going to see movement. You've got to pick that up. And your quarterback has to have the confidence in his arm, which we see that he does. And then, of course, wherever the ball goes, if it's a throw, you've got to catch the darn football. But it's a state of mind. In Miami, the last few weeks, looks like they are growing very confident in third and whatever, because it doesn't seem to matter, Josh. No, it doesn't seem to matter. And of course, that also helps your defense, right? The, so if you convert on third down, whether you can score off of that or just have another possession or another series of downs, you can flip the field, get Lou Headley on the field. So plus three and out, that, that's not a winning formula. So it's been good what Miami's been able to do. Rhett Lashley seems to kind of have found his little magic inside of his playbook. Things are, things are working well for the offense. And it certainly sets up, you know, when you can, if, if, at the very least, if you can pin Georgia Tech back and make them work the field, that's favorable. Okay, our last key is relentless effort. And earlier in the show with Coach Diaz, uh, Don, you mentioned Zach McLeod. There was a play uh, against Pittsburgh where he got a sack late in the game against Kenny Pickett. And it was a relentless effort because the offensive lineman should have been arrested for strangulation. And, and Zach just ran right through, just kept on going, which is a microcosm of what we're seeing from the team. And guys are making plays through relentless effort. 12:30 game, Hard Rock Stadium, here comes the sleepy old Georgia Tech. Miami's got to have a great effort. So I don't know that you can be successful in anything if you don't have relentless effort. If it's business, if it's being a husband, a father, it doesn't matter. But certainly on the football field, you have to have that. And part of it comes is when you can have relentless effort in the third and the fourth quarter or the last four minutes of the game, especially then, Miami's David Freely's done a great job of in conditioning. So Miami can get to that fourth quarter and pour on the re relentless effort, but you have to have it. And the team usually, no matter where it is and what sport it is, that gives you the closest to 60 minutes of that type of effort, usually wins. And again, we talked about this in the last segment about what, what's at stake for the University of Miami, what can be the story they can write. Well then that should show itself in how they play on Saturday. If all of that is there in front of them and they want it as bad as they want it, then they should come out and play with the kind of effort that warrants what they want the end result to be. We've seen it the last few weeks. Look, there, no one can question this team's heart, 
how they fought, how they played, their belief in their staff, their coach. I mean, this team has given this staff and, and the fans and the program everything they have, and there's no reason why it shouldn't continue today. Okay, looking for three in a row. Miami and Georgia Tech at Hard Rock Stadium, 12.30 kickoff for Josh Darrow, Don Bailey Jr., head coach Manny Diaz, Josie Hackney. Thanks for joining us. We will see you next week on the Manny Diaz Show.